have a few expectations here. <laughs> Perhaps I should have higher expectations. Holy shit, I'm the number one car. Two left. Two minutes to go. I'm not the fastest, though. Interesting. You're the number three car. Yeah. You're Division 3, I'm 4. We got some 7s and Division 7 and 6 people here. Small group. Easily. Yeah, seven cars. Well, I mean, the good part about that is is that we shouldn't be like fighting for space once uh, mm. once dominance yeah. is established by virtue of pace. Uh, it's mm. gonna just be a hot lap session <laughs> with with I rating and safety rating. Track temperatures mm. falling. It's now eighty nine Fahrenheit. I mean, this might even be a race that strategically starting from the back isn't necessarily a horrible thing. Yeah. Well, I got two Aussies here with horrible pings. So I think that uh, Rosenthal's still on that cruise that he was taking, right? The whole oh, Trefinet, right. Trefinet, yeah, uh, the Trefinet Sea. Yeah, yeah. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I don't get stuck on a boat with a thousand people talking about nothing but cars for a week and a half. I don't know. I think I probably stick needles in my eye. Yeah, there are worse things, probably. True. There are also probably better things. Well, good looking quality. Same to you, my friend. Same to you. Should get dark as the race goes on. Mm hmm, for sure. It's clear. Push. Okay, Jet. We've got two. Perhaps just at a decent time.
that's pollen. So you've just done a 118, 128. Nice second lap, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, you too. You're on a good one. Okay, gas in the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope this isn't a standing start. Well, that'll be different. Uh, RSR is never a standing start. So we don't have a good read on uh, Patrick or Lewis because they didn't qualify. Hmm. Hate that. Lewis is Division 6. Patrick is Division 7. Seventeen two is pretty stout. Yes. I got a little wheel spin coming out of the chicane the first lap, so my second lap, my speed across the line wasn't quite as fast as it was the second lap. Second lap, my predicted before I got out of the throttle was a 17.4. Nice. So, so I had that that had some pace uh, on that. I had good exit speed out of the chicane on the second lap, so if I had had a third lap, I probably would have done a little better than what I did. <clears throat> yeah, the guy behind me, I, we, he and I basically have identical quality times. Yeah. 18.9s. 18 18.9s, yeah. Yeah. Watch for him. Yeah. The stress of starting in a race and all that kind of stuff sometimes gets people all hopped up and they make mistakes at the start. Yeah. What I hope is that mistake isn't running into me. Right. Or me running into them. Well, I had a few mistakes just driving by myself, just suddenly went off track. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, lost uh, lost traction, lateral traction. Mm -hmm. Yep, 45 minutes. Okay, Lewis put up a time, so he's not a threat unless he's playing, playing possum. Patrick Soares. I hear there's a uh, ointment for that. <laughs> Names are actually kind of funny. Almost made up. Dean Auger, Louis Lamb, Patrick Soares. It's funny. So yeah, I'm going to do uh, a bunch of GT4 racing tomorrow, including uh -huh. I'm going to run the uh, IMSA pilot uh, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Yeah, I saw that. 
Yeah, that that was intriguing. Uh, but it's a two hour race, so you, it's a little yeah. bit different. So, and I like long long driving mm -hmm. endurance racing because it just it's yeah. it, your mindset's slightly different. So, um, if I can make the time to do it tomorrow night, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to look at the season ahead. That's the end of the session. Um, B two. It's just the race time is just a tad late for me. Well, it's the time we're racing now. It's actually earlier yeah. than now. Yeah, it starts at nine and runs to eleven your time, so it starts at ten, runs to midnight. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, but the fact that it's uh, well, better stop talking to get on the grid. That it's a GT4 race is intriguing. Mm -hmm. They'll run the M4 in it, I think. This looks like a full pace lap. Yeah. Somebody in a vet behind us. Mm -hmm. Everyone is gridded. Yep. B2, 45 minutes. Stay behind the pace car in the right column. Yeah, I remember these public races, as soon as the pace car pulls off, people speed up. Yeah, typically. Hey, good luck, everybody. Stay safe. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you were doing, so I took the outside, yep. which was an uncomfortable place on cold tires. No, nope, you did what you needed to. And what was intended? Because I got to jump on down the green. Yeah.
Starts okay. We're still in good shape here. Yeah, Matt's quick. Yep. <laughs> bye bye, Matt. It's always nice knowing you. That's what a second a lap difference looks like. Yep. At this stage, where I'm only two seconds ahead of me, I still feel like there's a glimmer of hope. Yeah, well, P4 car went by me in six on the inside and spun out in front of me in seven, and I just avoided hitting him. <laughs> well, at least you avoided him. It gap me to you. And uh, lock up doesn't help me behind. Schultz on 17.38. So Matt sped up. <laughs> yeah. A shame they won't make these rain ready. Yeah, that's one of the things. If you run GT4, uh, you may find rain tomorrow night. That's true. Okay, 
Jeff. We think our refueling window will open after 15 minutes. It closes after 33 minutes. I think you're going to be hot laughing tonight. Yeah. Given it's the first time I've raced this car on this track and raced this car in a long time, I'm, I'm not going to be angry about that. Unless Matt stubs his toe, he's got this in the bag. He's like eight seconds ahead of me right now. Fortunately, I have got a race on my hands. So you do. With a headlight flasher. Awesome. Which means the risk of him doing something stupid, aggressive is high. Probably. Pulled on him a little bit. Yep, a little. You gotta keep it. Williams is really new in. The gap's now brake pedal is binding up funny. Hope you haven't bent it again. I don't think I've bent it again, but it's <coughs> I it's not working the way it needs to.
Each of you go right. Tap me into seven and he spun himself, jackass. But I'm up to nine X now. Oh, that sucks. <coughs> he hit you to sp and spun himself? Yep. Damn it. Straight on rear end or trying to pass you? Side. Tapping the side. You've just done Didn't feel like it did any damage to me at all, but... Yeah, I defended going into six. He got a long, his nose tucked down a little bit, coming into seven. Possibly in his losing it at seven is when he sort of tapped me. I feel like my brake pedal's stuck partially down. Mm, shit. I think it's related to the fluid issue. No, no. minutes into the race are we um we have about 30 minutes left okay hmm so i hit half fuel at 15 minutes I've got no movement in my pedal at all when I push down on it. I'm just hitting a dead, dead stick. I've got no feel. I still got brake. All right, Chip. You've used half your fuel. <laughs> So much for muscle memory on brakes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Overrated. <laughs> well, you should be back here because this is where the race is.
to Williams. Behind is increasing. It's now 11 seconds. Okay, Chip, the pit window is now open. Last lap time was at 119.36. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. The captain, Williams, behind is now 12 seconds. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.49 off the pace. That pit window just opened. Yeah, mine opened a lap ago. Sometimes pretty consistent. I presume we don't get any fast repairs. No.
this an A or a B? Uh, must be a B series. I think it's a C. Is it? Or maybe I'm confusing that with the uh, pilot sport series I was looking at that you were talking I know, about. I know the IMSA series, um, the GT3 and GTP. Uh, that's A series now, I think. Matt Schultz just showed up 38 seconds behind me. Yeah, he's cooking. He's 26 and a half seconds ahead of me. Wow. Yeah, what, you're about 15 ahead of me. Was it Lewis that you were uh, battling with earlier? No, I don't remember. Okay. All of a sudden, this Dean Agar guy is coming on like fucking like freight train. And I think he's the guy that I tasseled with. That's 20 minutes to go. One X, damn it. Okay, Chip. You just cut the track. Is that your first? Yep. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll fuel you to the end of the <coughs>
it got a little goofy uh, in the chicane. Went on ahead and used it as my in lap. Fuck it. Pop guy, where the fuck are you? There he is. God damn it! Too far forward every fucking time. That may be enough to let this other guy get ahead of me. The leader, Schultz, is pitting. Yep, I think that's what just happened. Fucking son of a bitch. Yep, he's ahead of me. Sorry, dude. Yeah, he got a good pit stop. God, every fucking time over on that shit. Go catch this guy. Four seconds. He's been a second behind me. We've had a five second swap here. Son of a bitch. Has he pitted yet? Yep. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 12 seconds. He was, he'd gotten to within a second of me and he pitted one lap out of me. Okay, Chip. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Last lap was at 118.93.
seconds now. 40 seconds. Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.43 off the pace. The two tenths off the pace in Sector 3. God damn it. <sighs> I know I need to be getting on the throttle a lot earlier coming out of seven. And I just can't do it and I always wind up lighting up the traction control. And that time I almost went around. Ouch. Well, it didn't almost go around. It's a little bit of an exaggeration. It was close though, I guess. I had to correct. Mm -hmm. That's good consistency. Keep it up. The lap time was at one nineteen point two eight. Be interested to look at my telemetry to see if I'm uh, unintentionally trail breaking everywhere right now. Bad place to catch traffic. Okay, Jip. Just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. That was a one nineteen point three eight. The gap behind has increased to sixteen seconds. She's a second off the gap. Yeah, he must have had an issue. Yeah, 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 I think he had this traffic. Yeah, I think I might be trail breaking everywhere right now. <laughs> I just came through six and seven in a moderately scary way. Suelio Almeida, he's uh, doing these short series, and one of them was, uh, you, you're probably trail breaking wrong. And uh, I know I'm trail breaking wrong right now. 
because I'm not trying to trail break and I think I'm trail breaking. seconds back. Seven minutes left. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. But that was at What happened there? That's five minutes to go. Come on, keep it together. We'll be on the podium here. It's down to 3.1 and all of a sudden I'm up to 3.5. Either he sped up or you slowed down. Yeah, I think I lost a little time in turn two. Sectors two and three are zero point four three off the base. Sector one is not protect off the base. put a moving van between me and fucking Apex at turn seven. <laughs> <laughs> the gap 
behind is now 17 seconds. New fastest lap for Schultz on 17, 120. all cautious at turn two right now because I'm getting a lock up there. I'm cautious everywhere because I'm dragging my brakes. You know, Matt should just fucking go home. You know, you, you know he doesn't have to fucking slow me down by dealing with, it, with this. Got a race going on here, and fuck him. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock. I know because my lights in my office went off. White flag. We're running on fumes, mate. All right, Chip. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. That lap time was what, 19. Fuck you. Get out of my way, man. Get the fuck out of my way. You've got one gallon left. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Yeah, he just finished his race, just cost me a fucking second. Almost, oh, I got a checkered flag all of a sudden. Fuck him. Hope he feels all strong and masculine about that. Fucking jackass. Were you catching Dean? Yeah, and then he cost me a second by going through on the fucking 10A, 10B sequence.
Yay! We're on the podium. Good drive. Not bad, not bad. You'll have to take a look at my brake pedal when I have a light back on. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening down there. That's crazy. Something bad, though. Okay. Practice. Good race, Dean. You got me on the pit stop. Way to go, guy. So I got an increase in safety rating and an increase in I rating. Yay, me. You did not. Got a top five, though. Good drive, Jeff. All things considered. Yeah. What to think about this right now. What's that? I don't know what to think about this right now. Yeah. I mean, you got some bad luck um, with some guys that you were racing against. I think it was Lewis Lamb that you had the issue with because he tried to pass you, hit you, spun, um, and he was a lapped car later, but was throwing down some decent laps that were in the same ballpark as yours. His fastest was a 19.030, and yours was a 19.021. So I think that that's the guy that was racing with you. Yeah, let's see. Was that lap nine? And Thomas Chapman was uh, behind me, but he had some sort of an incident. He was running good laps. 18.325 was his fastest, so he was faster than I was. Um, okay. But he was... Uh, behind me on track and reeling me in, but I didn't care because you Matt drove a great race. Yeah, so he got point was... seven on his safety rating. He uh, so he, he his safety rating was down below three. He got point seven, bring it up to a three five seven safety rating. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so I don't know. You, you might look at it and tell me if you see it the same way, but. Oh, I'm already out. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm looking at the results already. Yeah, I mean, it's looking like Lewis dive bombed me at seven. We, we take, I can load it, so back here. Back to load. I'm kind of bummed my equipment's given me problems. Yeah. Well, this one he qualified with a 121.9, basically a 122. Did you say lap nine? Yeah. It one seven. gallon remaining. He doesn't qualify like that, and he starts laying down laps like he did. But he's in the vet behind you? Yeah, that gray vet. Or six. And you say turn seven? Yep. And he's trying to figure out how to make a move, but he's not being patient about it. So it's not smart race racecraft, first of all. Yeah. Because if you back it up to before six, you'll see I defended six. I stand yeah. mid-track coming down. Oh. So you're turning in. You turn in pretty sharp. But he doesn't have position. He dive bombs you. Yeah. I don't know. I... There are a couple of ways to look at this. Like, you had an option here, because I'm sure your spotter activated between turn six and turn seven, right? Mm hmm Is you probably should have given 
Well, you gave him a lane, but he was in way too hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can you, see, and that's, you, that's my you, question. I can see as I'm pinching down, but I'm still giving him a, you know, there's still a lane there, yeah. <clears throat> but he was not going to hold that corner. No, I mean, he, you know, well. Even, even if I had, if I had not pinched down any further, if I just, you know, fo followed that seam in the asphalt around, he was still going to hit me. Probably. I don't know. He was on the brakes, so it's it's hard to say if he was going to get the turn in or not. But he he definitely was going to be wider. Uh, he he had already hit what was essentially going to be his apex. He hit the apex early <laughs> instead yeah. of uh, late. So yeah, I I I definitely think that that's on him. You you could have chosen to give a little bit more space there. I think. Yeah ridden the seam across because that would have given you both a higher percentage of chance of coming out without the contact. Because mm -hmm. it would have given like literally a, almost a whole like three quarters of a car yeah. if you had been on the other side of that seam. Yeah. And it wouldn't have compromised your exit that much at that point because you were already on the outside. Right. But he got the worst end of that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I got lucky there. That, that could have been a race ending. Yeah, for sure. Incident. We put a, could have both been taken out there. Let's see. So that was that one. Is that the only one? I'm trying to figure because I ended up with 10x. You know, so, so here's what sucks. You know, when you you toggle up, you know, the list of uh, messages. So when the incident happens, it now says, oh, car number not, such and such is the one that con you had contact with. Mm -hmm. But you go to the messages, you know, you know pop, do that pop up. Um, and. Oh, I take that back. It does say car six. OK. So I had a zero X there. Somehow I had a car contact, no car number. And I got a four X for it. I do not know what that is. Hmm. I do not know what that is. They should tell you the lap that it happens in, too. Now, maybe out when I jump out of here, I can find it. Oh, well, let's get out of here. You had uh, lap nine. You had a 21 lap time. That was, I don't... That, was the, that was the one we just looked at. So that was the one we just looked at, lap nine? Then... You had lap 20 was a 25.1. Which lap? Uh, lap 20. Yeah. That probably was pit lap. Let's see. Lap chart. Keep it up. We're looking good here. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Yeah, I think that this is your pit. The next lap is longer. Yeah. yeah. I don't see any others that are. Yeah, it says on lap two, I had car contact. I don't know what that was. Let's see. Track there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dean, he went around in front of you. You tapped him. Well. Oh, that's that spin that happened yeah. in front of me. That he went, he, went, he uh, went down on your inside and then uh, lost it on the exit and spun. Yeah, and then I avoided him, but apparently I racing. Thought yeah, it was, it was a net it code touch. Contact. It was a net code touch. So who was that? That was Patrick? Uh, no, uh, Dean, Dean Auger. It was then that one too? Yeah, that was uh, lap, uh, lap two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wow. So how do you get this thing to scroll? Oh, that's right. Drag it. 
That is crazy. Uh, yeah, so you, at least as far as my replay is concerned, you guys never make contact, but the net code yeah, gave you the 4x. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Crazy. I mean, you can't get any closer than that, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't touch. That's definitely a net code. Cool, man. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a good race. Spaß machen Rennsport.